what's up guys green and blue here back on lego transformers how to build episode today we're going to build our scientist group of the autobots wheeljack and without further ado let's get to the lego build and build ourselves a very own lego wheeljack so let's get to the build so guys these are the pieces laid out for lego wheeljack so here's a nice good look at all the pieces laid out in this lego board here just get a few seconds for the viewers to pause here for there and just like that and without further ado, let's get to the build, building ourselves our very own Lego wheel jack. So let's finally get to the build now. To start off the build, we're going to start off with the lower legs. And plus this wheel jack doesn't have really real feet. So we're going to have to start off with the lower legs with this mixed joint piece. We're going to grab a 1x3 plate here for his calf. And grab this 1x1 plate to fill in the gap between these two pieces that clip on together like so. And for the heel, grab this 1x2 plate, attach it on the back, like so, until it looks like that. And then grab a black 1x4 plate for his shin armor. And for his foot, grab this piece here. And then grab a cheese slope to replicate his toesies, until it looks like that. And for his thighs, only just four pieces, grab this mixer joint piece here. Grab a 2x2 tile, a white one. And then grab a 1x2 socket, cover the whole thing up with a anti-stud circle piece until you have Wheeljack's other leg done. Let's see if you can get this on here, like so. Repeat the same thing, but opposite. After you get the legs done, you can now move on to the torso. So we can now move on to the torso now. We're going to begin with this torso next. We're going to start off with a Technic piece with a axle pin here. And then grab a Technic joint here with a, uh, with a ball piece here, specifically just for his hips. And grab a microphone piece or a, uh, a ball pin piece for his crotch, just like so. And then grab two two by two circular plates and attach them there on top of the axle pin like that. And for his torso, grab two of these two by four plates and then stack them on top of the, the stomach area, just like that until you have this going on. And then grab these two pieces here for his like, his front chest piece here just like that and then for his weapon storage or just like to fill in some details for his back use this one by four racket piece and then attach them there like so following up with two of these pieces for his shoulders fill in those spaces like this so you have the the pieces like that and then for his neck connection grab this piece here this jumper plate attach it in there like so and for his like those chest arches on his like main chest grab these pieces here attach them there until you have these studs sticking out and then following up with two one by one plates attach those on to the the ledges of the one by two black plates and leave some space for these pieces two of these ones for his main torso and finish off the torso with two more of these pieces fill in the back of the shoulder like so so you have some nice good details until you have the torso finally complete and now you can move on to the arms so let's get to the arms getting to wheel jack's arms you're going to need another one of these mixer joint pieces following up with a one by two dark gray piece to fill in for his bicep and for his shoulder armor grab a one by four plate and then grab two of these pieces here attach them in a order where you leave space in the middle for some uh for some sleekness to his shoulder armor to it looks like this and then fill in the armor with this bow piece place it on the shoulder and then move on to the forearms and the forearms going to be this piece here put it in whatever color like so and then grab a one by two racket piece which is facing upwards put on like so grab a tile piece fill in the forearms and grab two of these pieces for his arms and hand and then attach them in 
on top of the plate, just like so. Repeat the same thing, but the opposite. And with those arms being there, you can now finally move on to the head. So let's get to the head. So guys, for the head, it's pretty much like a custom build. It only uses one piece of customization, which is uh, a piece of paper, which I carved out with a paper puncher and some scissors. So if you watch one of my shorts, you can go to one of my shorts that tells you how to how to combine paper with your mocks. And with that being out of the way, you can grab this these two pieces, one for his head, one for his eyes. Place them together. And then grab a one by one plate here. One by one plate for this head. And grab that custom piece I was talking about. Right here. So, and then attach the whole thing onto the stud here till it lines up here like so. Make sure it doesn't slip off because this piece is a pretty much a major feature of Little Jack. And then cover up the whole thing with a 1x1 one one tile, this silver piece one. And then cover up the whole thing till you get Little Jack's head finished. And now we can finally move on to his gun. So let's get to his gun. The gun being probably one of my favorite parts of the build. I'm gonna need this like this T post thing. Just cut the other side off for the gun handle. And then grab this uh, double sided axle connector. Shove it in there like so for his gun. And then grab a, a rod here. Not a lightsaber rod, but this shorter one. And then just shove it into the axle hole like so for the barrel. And then grab a, a like this piece here, the cylinder looking piece. And then attach it on like so. This is for the magazine, just to add a bit more detail to the gun, which is pretty nice. And then grab these two studs here for, I guess the second barrel of the gun, cause it looks cool. And the filling with the magazine, grab this stud here, this stud tile, attach it onto the back like that. And for the barrel, grab this Technic pin piece with the edge cut off here, and slide it in there like so. And you have Wheel Jack's gun done, so we can now finally get to the assembly. for today's how to build tutorial thank you guys for watching the eighth episode of the lego transformers how to build series here is how your build should look like now here is a good look at the guy I like the way he turned out he's not that like that one way design you see in dark in the moon which is terrible but with the build being done enjoy your build play with it how you want or add it to your collection if you so wish Thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you in the next episode of the LEGO Transformers How to Build Series. Peace!